What's going on everybody? It's Cold Side bringing you guys an insane 263 kill gameplay on the new DLC map Showtime, which is Shipment, if you didn't know, Shipment from Call of Duty 4. Uh, there are some slight changes as you guys will probably see or if you didn't or if you already knew. Uh, they added like a whole like outside area kind of, like a ring around it, so it makes the map a little bit bigger. But uh, you guys will see this gameplay is non-stop action and I'm actually using the CBJ. Uh, you guys will see the, the full class setup on screen, but uh, when I was playing this map, you know, I, I understand that people get tired of like the Honey Badger, AK-12, Remington, whatever, MTAR. I know people like don't necessarily like watching those type of gameplays because those are the guns pretty much everybody uses. So I wanted to use something different, and I know not too many people use the CBJ, so I decided to try it out because honestly, like, you you get kills so fast in Call of Duty Ghosts that pretty much any gun is usable I'd say obviously some better than others but uh, the CBJ is definitely a usable gun especially in a map like this where it's mostly close quarters and uh, it turned out to be pretty good you guys will see I get a few like quad feeds and stuff like that or four man sprays so it's pretty cool hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay uh, you'll see that we're extending the game, you know, by neutralizing flags and stuff. So the game definitely lasts a really long time. That's why I was able to get so many kills. So if you're wondering how I got that many, it's because obviously uh, we've got a full team and we're trying to extend the game for as long as possible. And if you guys have uh, seen my Twitter, you know that uh, about the other insane gameplay that I got yesterday, or actually probably when you're seeing this video, probably two days ago. So. If you guys want to see what that is, uh, we're going to probably upload it this weekend anyway. But uh, if you want to get a sneak peek, then you can go to my Twitter and look at it there. It should be my recent photos. So, uh, yeah, check that out there. Um, also, another announcement is that we've got a website coming out very soon. And this time, yes, it's actually going to be there. Like, it's it's like it's pretty much finished right now. Just uh, adding the finishing touches to it and stuff. So, that'll be pretty good as well. Um, there will be a lot of different things on there, like you can watch our live streams on there, you can see who from Doom is live at, at any given point. Um, there's going to be avatars that you can download and use yourself uh, if you guys want to support us. Um, there's an application page, to uh, so if you guys want to apply for Doom, if you want to join, uh, there'll be that. And I think we're going to add like a top 5 uh, thing as well. It's being made by uh, Doom Fame or Doom or Fame God, and uh, I'll leave his Twitter in the description as well if you guys are interested because you know he's done an amazing job on the site. I really can't wait for you guys to see it. I think you guys will definitely like it. It looks professional and everything, so I'm really excited uh, for everyone to be able to see it and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, like I said before, um, this is the new map Showtime from the newest DLC, and uh, this. This is not the most kills in uh, Call of Duty Ghost so far. I actually have another gameplay on uh, Sovereign that we'll probably be uploading soon as well, uh, which is actually the most kills, but I won't spoil it completely. I won't, I'll, I won't say exactly how many kills it is, so we'll probably be uploading that soon as well. Um, and that's uh, that'll yeah that that's in Ground War as well. So I got on the PS4 one day and got that. So uh, we've got a bunch of good gameplays coming up. If you guys ever have any suggestions or something you guys want to see, uh, always let us know in the comments. If you you know if you're interested, you think we can give us a challenge or something like that. Uh, we're trying to go for unique chem strikes as well, uh, like just different stuff that you know people usually wouldn't even go for. So anything like that. If you guys have any suggestions, we'll definitely be happy to go for it. We need to start doing uh, more of the enemy is doomed and top five plays and stuff like that as well. Especially near the end of Ghost, you need to start switching up a little bit more because obviously it's getting a little bit stale. And especially after seeing Advanced Warfare, hopefully you guys have all seen uh, the multiplayer preview for that. Uh, honestly, I I'm really glad that they switched it up a bunch. You know, like obviously the the double jumping and the dashing and stuff is a whole new dynamic to COD. Like, uh, you know, obviously I've never seen anything like that before. Nobody really knows how it's going to play. Um, of course, the YouTubers and you know some pro players, I think, uh, were able to play the game early already and stuff like that. But honestly, you it, it's like you can't really entirely judge a game until, number one, you get into your own hands. And uh, number two is to see how the community like plays or plays it, yeah. Because, so, you know, like, for example, One Man Army YouTube's completely ruined it in uh, Monitor 2. 
and although that's something that's like definitely easily fixable you know like obviously they could fix stuff like that but uh it adding a whole new dynamic like double jumping and dashing and stuff it'll be completely new so i'm interested to see how that's going to work out uh, if you guys played titanfall um it was definitely that like titanfall is definitely a fun game and everything you know but the movements were smooth and everything just like cod but uh, it just wasn't the same you know uh with all the bots there and uh, they're always being tightened and stuff like that that you know you could easily get it just wasn't the same as COD. There was no, I, there was no competitiveness to it really, and I don't know. It just wasn't the same. But uh, the fact that they're adding, like, they're kind of mixing Titanfall and COD together, I, I think it might be good. Uh, honestly, we'll just have to see how it plays. Um, I, something I personally want, which I think would be awesome, which I've been saying I've wanted for a long time, is to have a playlist where there's more than 18 players so something larger than 99 uh something like 12 v 12 or even 16 versus 16 i think that would be absolutely insane and that would be really really fun um i apparently on pc i think they have 12 v 12 or something that you can play but uh i don't know if i've heard that the consoles can't handle it before at least the ps3 and the xbox 360 i'm not really sure about uh obviously the newer consoles um, I would think they would be able to handle a little bit more than 9v9, but uh, I honestly don't know that much about hardware or anything like that, so I couldn't say for sure. I know they put uh, a lot more of the power into the graphics and stuff, so I don't know. That probably has something to do with that as well, if they can do it or not. So I uh, will just have to wait and see that. They haven't announced anything about it specifically, so I I'm not really sure. I would be extremely happy to see that. Uh, if you guys ever played Mag on the PS3, which came out a long time ago, probably like five or six years ago, uh, that, I forget how many players there were. I want to say it was like, I, there was at least, it was at least 20v20. I'm pretty sure it was more. I want to say it was 64 versus 64, at least in so, at some uh, maps or something like that. Um, but like something like that, just imagining having all those people on the map at one time, obviously 64 versus 64 would be a huge jump and uh, that would, you need a huge map for that. But I don't know. I think playing like a game that had like an insane amount of people on the map and having the fluidity of COD, uh, you know, I, that would just be, I would love that game to be honest. Like just having like a crazy nonstop action. It would be like this map. Um, but like basically all the time, I don't know. I think that would be really fun, and I wish they would do something like that uh, in the new CODs or something. But we'll just have to wait and see. I, you know, that would just, that would be my like number one thing that I'd want. But uh, it looks like Advanced Warfare. Uh, I know I've only pretty much I've talked about it a little bit, but uh, there it looks like it'll be a fun game. They're adding like these supply drop things, which uh, I'm not really familiar with CS:GO Counter Strike. Um, too much but I know they have like uh, some crates or something that you can open and get camos from and I think you buy them and uh, they're doing something similar in COD where if you play a certain amount of time or you, I think if you complete a specific challenge you get um, some supply crates or something it, it, it's like another su like supply crate or something like that supply box uh, where you get one for doing like I said playing a certain amount of time or completing a challenge and you can get uh, either a gun or camos or stuff for your uniform and character customization stuff like that which is another thing they've added like a lot of character customization even like gloves and helmets and stuff so even more in depth than what ghost is and the thing I don't really like with ghost is that pretty much all the best stuff like all the coolest stuff the most unique stuff is you have to buy so uh, it's either the characters are just like really bland like there's not really anything special about them or uh, if they are special then it's something that somebody bought like the spacesuit or uh, those extinction characters and stuff like that so I hope that they don't make all the unique stuff uh, something that you have to buy because I think that kind of ruined ghost just a little bit uh, obviously it's cool you know to be able to like get new stuff and add things that they usually wouldn't be in the game that you just have to pay for but i don't know they didn't really add too many unique things except for like the war cry and body count camos that you had to do clan wars for which i think that's a great idea them doing uh stuff like that you have to do clan wars for and uh speaking of that uh, they're, they're actually bringing clan wars back to advanced warfare they haven't announced any specifics if it's going to be ran the same way or anything 
but um, there, there is going to be clan war. So I'm kind of excited for that, to be honest. Like, I hated Ghost pretty much right when I got it. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, but, like, clan wars and stuff like that, that it made the game really fun. Um, something to go for and it wasn't as stressful, you know, because when I was first playing this game I was always going for like gameplays like getting solo triples and stuff like that. So like, doing that can be kind of stressful, but um, uh, uh, Like just playing for fun. It's honestly not that bad and like I really enjoy playing the DLC maps like this Like obviously this is really fun to play. So, you know, I don't know I think clan wars adds a new dynamic to the game That'll be really fun as well And the fact that there's all this other change coming like the double jumping and stuff like that different types of maps different type of gameplay Lots of new game modes like they're bringing back war Which if you guys, if you guys didn't know world at war is my favorite call of duty and war was like the best game mode from that And I've never had another cut since so just little stuff like that um, I'm honestly really excited for the game and I know people say that like pretty much every year but even last year, I honestly did not think Ghost was going to be a good game, even before it came out. Uh, I've even got tweets and stuff to prove it from the past, if you don't believe me. So, I, you could just tell. I just knew that Ghost necessarily wasn't going to be the best game. But uh, I, I've got high hopes for Advanced Warfare, to be honest. I'm really hoping um, that it all turns out well. And uh, it's an enjoyable game. I know a lot of people, I think Ghost has turned off a ton of people from COD. I think... Even Black Ops 2 turned off a few, like, some people, which I, I actually enjoyed Black Ops 2 a lot, but I think Ghost turned off a ton of people, so uh, we'll see if Advanced Warfare can bring back the hype or not. Um, I'm hoping it can, because, you know, obviously Call of Duty is my favorite game. Um, it's pretty much the only video game I play, to be honest, so I've really got, i am really got the highest hopes for it. I really want it to turn out well, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. You'll see it's wrapping up. And if you guys, I, I should have mentioned this way back then because a lot of people probably don't know this, but you'll see the score and the kills stop at, or the kills stop at 99, the score stops at 9,999. Uh, that's just the in-game scoreboard. You guys will see in just a second the actual scoreboard um, from the after action report. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and I will be talking to you guys soon. All right, see ya.